What is happening, everybody? We have a knife, or maybe some knives. I'm not 100% sure I recall what's in this one, but we'll find out. Oh, now I remember. Cool. Some OG goat scales. There's the uh, DLD VIP, which is a recent uh, recent company that started dropping Demcos. Nice, clean, brand new box there. Neon Green G10. I hadn't had one in this color, and I was really curious to see what it was all about. Classic little uh, error in opening the box there, it looked like. Gotta do it right, guys. Just like that. It's not that bad. A little fingernail in there. Whoa, oh, that's pretty popping. That's a pretty bright green. It's not day glow, but oops. It is green. <laughs> this one's definitely fresh and new. So I got the good old classic lock stick. All right. So another peanut shark. When I see these peanut sharks, I get pretty stoked and love to try and jump on them when I can. And this one is in uh, XHP. So I hadn't had one in XHP, so I was really excited to get my hands on it. Um, looks good. They had done some in XHP, I think, earlier on. Um, maybe some titanium variants or something. And we hadn't seen it for a while, so it's cool to see it back out. Seeing if I can get that lock stick to happen again, but it seems okay now. Cool. Sweet. Nice little Demco. That's a pretty cool EDC color. It's interesting if uh, you haven't noticed, when they do the peanut, they also bring down the jimping a little bit so it's got like a little a little spot for your finger to drop into which is pretty cool nice little new blade shape there <clears throat> all right so number one looks good let's get number two out i got the tactical peanuts in there i can't remember who someone said the other day i think it was the guy i just bought a uh, hinderer from i won't i won't name names but uh if you're watching this video it's you <laughs> tactical peanuts included uh pretty funny i'm sure that's probably a thing and i just never heard it before if not and it's original then kudos all right and this one as you can see no info on the box which would typically indicate it's either sold at a show or something along those lines and uh, notice this jimping up here. That's not normal jimping, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, super cool. So CPM 20 CV on a big old blade stock. That's an 80-20. Whoa. Also fresh. Nice clean box. Nice clean blade. Nice fresh one. That's interesting. I hadn't seen... Oh, I know what this is. It's an 8020i, I forgot. Not to say I buy a lot of knives, but 8020i, so international. So I hadn't noticed uh, I hadn't noticed that. So there's a specific jimping. If you end up with the 8020 full size international, that means the blade is made in Italy. I think the rest of the knife is still assembled in the US. I'm not 100% sure, but I recall that being the case. And uh, it's a drop point. So it's not a clip point. It's a full-size 80-20 and a drop point. I don't think I somehow realized that. <laughs> uh, you know, I tried to get an 80-20i on the channel for the all Demco video, my collection video, where I was like, hey, this is everything you can get from Demco. Um, but I couldn't get one on time. I missed a couple that had sold. There's only a few of them out there so far. I think there are going to be more of them. I think you're going to start to see these on drops. But I really like the blade shape. That's nice. All right, let's take a quick look here. How does that compare in blade shape to a drop point? Let's see. 
What's the drop point here? Drop point 8020S. Let's compare. <clears throat> um, first, you'll notice different jimping on the top, but let's take a quick look at the shapes. I'd say they're pretty darn similar. So if you're familiar with the 8020, it's a click point, and the 8020i is a drop point, apparently. I don't know if all of them are. Now i got to go do some research and get back to you all on it. I'm supposed to be the uh, the Demco guru here, huh? Um, but yeah, that's really cool. Now I'm really excited. Um, I'm really glad I have that in the collection. I was sort of uh, a little hesitant and uh, so happy that I got it now. Um, so good day. Got an 8020i. Good week, I should say. Got this guy on the drop. And uh, look at that, new blade shape. Now, what else did we get on this particular purchase? The esteemed seller had some scales available and uh, talked me into them. Uh, now, what I didn't catch was that there were two sets of scales. For some reason, I thought I got one set of scales, so uh, now I'm even more enthused. Uh, but Original Goat uh, does some really cool work, if you're not familiar. And this one looks like it's um, maybe a gray. Get some better light over here. Hang on one sec. All right. Yeah, I would say this one's like a gray, so that's pretty cool. And that pattern feels really good on the hand. Um, it's kind of like a matte finish here. It's really nice. These over here. And this one um, looks similar. Um, but it has a uh, smooth finish, if I believe. Like a more of a polished finish. So there you go. Kind of two different colors there, I guess. One's maybe, what does it say the color on these? It'd be really nice if they put the color on them. It's kind of like an OD green or something. And this one's more of like a black, but they have like a two different types of black and this one's sort of the lighter one maybe. I don't know. Let me get the flashlight out and see if it helps at all. Sort of a dark gray or a black, looks good. Well, cool. Uh, there you go. That was a nice little uh, pickup today. Uh, first 8020i. Drop point. Highly noteworthy. Um, let's throw that one up next to a 8020 blade so you can compare. So I think I've done some content on like the that that knife, but I haven't done anything on the 8020i. This is kind of cool. Um, so you can really see the difference in blade shape there. What I'd love to do is weigh this against a, uh, a clip point. I don't think it's going to be a profound difference. So that'd be kind of a cool exercise too. So let's maybe do that. I'll have to go find a equivalent. Units. Sorry. Let me go track down an equivalent. 8020. I think this is one. I think this is a G10. Here we go. Okay, so 6.3 ounces. So that's it's not too bad for a full size. 6.3. Okay, they're the same. So G10 just makes it lighter. Um, everything else generally looks similar. Same handles and everything, but drop point versus clip point, different jimping. Love this big jimping, that's pretty nice. Cool, really, really cool. Let's uh, let's put these guys side by side. So this is an old school one. This is uh, one of the originals in 3V. It's one of the prides of my Demco collection, actually. I only have two originals in 3V, I think. Only two. I have two originals in 3V, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, these are nice little complimentary knives here. 
Um, the 3D is supposedly Andrew Demko's metal of choice. Tough, hard use kind of metal, steel. A lot of the, you know, if you go in the Demco Dynamics Facebook group, a lot of the, I don't want to say old school, but the original, the original Demco people, you know, talk a lot about how the 3D performs better in the cold steel days and stuff on the 8010s and whatnot versus the S35VN. Um, so it's thematically um, something that's characteristic of the brand, I'd say. So it's kind of cool. I I, I kind of like having that that old one. And then this is really, you know, what you'd say would be kind of the new age of where they've gone with it. But I think they did a lot of the original ones in G10 before they brought out the first tie milled like this. I think the first ones may have been G10. Um, not 100% sure on that, but I've, I've perused their Instagram, and I think the first ones that they at least put on Instagram were. So hard to say, you know, when it comes out of this stuff. But yeah, it's a good day in Demco land. Uh, cannot complain. Um, I think that's it for now. I'm going to probably spend a little more time uh, just taking a look at and seeing if I notice any other nuances on this new 8020i, um, like whether they, you know, do the G10 any differently or anything like that. It looks pretty darn similar so far, but good to have it in the collection, exciting to have it in the collection. And yeah, maybe I'll do a dedicated video on the 8020i at some point, we'll see. So that's all for now. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Take care.